Hi and welcome to this course on the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. So before we go on ahead, I thought let's have a quick introduction on what this exam is about and also what is required from an exam perspective for the tester. So now this is a foundation level exam that's been introduced by AWS. So now before an exam from AWS is actually published or if updates to an existing exam is published, normally AWS publishes the exam in beta phase. So herein, they take feedback from the students and after the beta phase is complete, they then release the exam. So now the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner was in the beta phase earlier, but now is a full-fledged exam from AWS. Now, a lot of people are familiar with the AWS Solution Architect Associate exam, and this is one of the most popular exams in the industry out there. But a lot of students which I've interacted with were always asking, is there something more basic than the AW Solution Architect Associate exam? And that's because in the architect exam, there's a lot of concepts which are covered. And especially for those who are new to cloud computing, it can be difficult to actually go and do the architect associate exam. And I always used to get questions on whether there's anything more basic or foundation to the Solution Architect Associate exam. And finally, AWS does that. So now you have the Certified Cloud Practitioner, which is at the entry level. So this is an entry level certification. Here you need to have basic IT knowledge and six months experience on the AWS platform. So now with the exam itself, you need to have some basic understanding of the AWS cloud. You need to understand some basic AWS cloud architecture principles. You need to understand some key services and describe basic security compliance aspects of AWS. And we're going to cover all of this in our course. So whatever important from the exam perspective, we're actually going to cover this in our course. Now, if you already have an AWS certification as a Solution Architect Associate, I suggest that you go through these following. So first is the AWS support model because there are questions asked on that. Next is the TCO model, which is published by AWS. And fine to go through the questions which is published as part of this course. So now let's go ahead on to the next chapter in this course.